What's going on guys, Tosker here, and in this video, this is going to be the final video of our Simple Contact book. Now we only have one thing to accomplish, and that is to set up a JSON contact data service. Now first to do that, we want to go over here to our project. We want to right click it. We want to go down to Manage NuGet Packages. We then want to go over to Browse. And for me, it's at the top, but if you want, you can search the Newton Soft, Newton Soft, and you want to find the Newton Soft JSON. And then we want to click Install. And OK. As we see down here, it's going to set up our package. And the reason we want this is this is going to make it easier to serialize and deserialize um, certain objects in C Sharp that we can then store into a text file. Next, we want to go over here to our services folder. We want to add a new class. And then we want to name this class JSON Contact Data Service. We'll click Add. All right, now the first thing we want to do is, of course, make it public. We want it to derive from our eye contact data service. We then of course want to implement the interface. Now first for the get contacts we want to check if a file exists. So we're going to do file add in the using statement system.io and exists. And then we're going to do uh, resources. So our resources folder slash contact data dot json and then in this if statement we're going to do file create but actually if we want to do if this file does not exist then of course we want to create one and then we're going to do resources slash contact data dot json so then we're going to create it and then this is going to leave the uh, file stream open and we don't want that because that's going to cause some issues later. So then we also want to call close. So once we create it uh, using the uh, file stream, we then want to close it. Now I don't want to have to keep uh, writing this string over and over again. So we're going to create a private read only string and we're going to call it data path. And then we're going to set this to our resources contact data dot json so now we can just replace this with our data path next we want to first create a variable for our serialized contacts and this will of course equal file dot read all text from our data path and then we're going to create another variable called contacts and this is going to be our deserialized uh, data into a new object so we're going to do json convert which is from our nuget package we created so we'll add in the using statement here and we want to do deserialize object it'll be of an i enumerable contact And then we're going to pass it our serialized contacts that we just retrieved. And then if, just in case, our contacts are null, then we just want to return a new list of contacts. And if it doesn't hit that, then we're just going to send back the contacts we deserialized. Now next for down here in the save, uh, it's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to create another variable and we're going to call this serialized contacts JSON convert. And then we're just going to serialize the object that we pass in the parameter, which is the enumerable contacts. And then just do file write all text. And then we're going to write this to the data path and we're going to pass it the serialized contacts. So what we have here is we just have a way to get the contacts and to then save our contacts. We then just want to go over here to our app view model. And down here where we created our mock data service, 
we're just going to replace it with our JSON contact data service. Now we're going to run the application, see what happens. Okay, so here we have our contact book, and of course it's not loading any contacts just yet. Um, down here, whoops, down here we don't really have any errors being thrown that I see. So what we're going to try and first do is add a new contact. We're going to edit it, give it some information here. All right, and now we're just going to save our contact here. Now to make sure everything's working, I'm going to close, I'm going to basically restart our debug here. And now that we restarted, I select contacts and there is our contact. Now to see if everything's working, we're going to tick him as favorite. We're going to go over here to favorites and we see that he's not popping up. Now to try and make sure what's going on here, let's try and do it in edit and then hit save. And now go over to our favorites and we see it's still not working. So we're going to have to figure that out. Okay, so the reason that this isn't working is if we go over here to our context view model. And if you remember what we set up earlier, we set up this little list here for our mock data service. And it turns out that was only necessary because we are working with uh, local objects. Uh, we weren't actually working with actual reading and writing files. So we actually don't even need this anymore. So we're just going to remove everywhere we have the underscore contacts here. And then here in our update and save, when we're checking favorites or when we're modifying, we're actually modifying the observable collection here. So what we want to do is submit the observable collection to be saved. And now with that, we're going to try and run the application. And now here with our application running, we see we have Jake Doe. And we're going to tick him as favorite. We go over to favorites and there he is. We'll untick him, go back to contacts, there he is, and we can also add new contacts uh, and we can remove contacts and that's all working fine. Uh, let's see if our actual editing is still working, so we're going to change this number here, going to hit save, going to refresh the list, and we see it updates. Now there's one last thing we need to check and that's going to be to see if the images is working. So we'll click browse. And then here we'll just select any contact image. And there we go, and we'll hit save. And now to verify it's still working, it is, and we'll just, to be safe, we'll restart. And we see that everything is still working. So guys, that's it for the application. Uh, we have completed it. Of course, the shortest video is the last. The series went a lot longer than I expected it to. Um, but overall, I hope you enjoyed the series. Let me know what you did like about this series or what you didn't like. So if I do future ones, then maybe I can improve on some things. Part of me has also been considering on maybe doing some videos on making uh, video games on the computer, maybe through Unity or through a .NET framework such as uh, Monogame. Those are, uh, I used to do games in the past. I haven't in a while, so I'm probably a little rusty on it. So you would be learning as I'm learning for some things. Um, but just let me know what you guys think. Of course, I'll still always do WPF videos, but uh, I'm kind of wanting to expand the content of my videos. Uh, even if it's not games, if you have any other ideas of things you think I might know that I might be able to cover, uh, I'd like to do that as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, turn off ad blocker. <laughs>